we really want to learn what music someone's going to really uh, recognize and enjoy. One of the residents is a resident who likes gospel music. The church was all his life. And um, I think that we, we can start with him. Henry, speak to me. I want to hear your voice. Can you talk to me? So let me hear you. Tell me your full name. Henry has dementia and he needs total assistance with all his activities of daily living. How long has he been in the nursing home? Uh, approximately 10 years. It affects him greatly because he was always, you know, fun loving, singing, you know, every occasion he would come out with a song. I remember as a child, he used to walk us down the street, me and my brother, and he would stop and do singing in the rain. He would have us jumping and swinging around poles. He was, you know, he was good. He was always into music, you know, he always loved singing, dancing. You want, you want your music now? Let's try your music, okay? And then you tell me if it's too loud or not, okay? Music is inseparable from emotion. So it's not just a physiological stimulus. It, 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 if it works at all, it will call the whole person, the many different yeah, parts of their yeah. brain and the memories and emotions which, which go with it. I, I'm supposed to sing with this? You can if you like. first met him, he was very isolated, and he used to always sit on the unit with his head like this. He didn't really talk to much people, and then when I introduced the music to him, this is his reaction every since. <laughs> Henry waking up did something to all of us. Everyone in the room felt it. The philosopher Kant once called music the quickening art, and Henry is being quickened, he's being brought to life. Yeah. I'm gonna take the music for one second, okay? Just Ooh. to ask you a few questions, okay? How awake was he? I'm gonna give it back to you. Was he still lost in his dementia? Or had the music in some way changed that? Henry. Yeah? Um, do you like the iPod? Do you like the music you're hearing? Yes. Tell me about your music. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have one, I mean. Ask yes or no questions. Do you like music? Yeah, I'm crazy about music. You play beautiful music, beautiful sound. Did beautiful. You, did you play music when you were, uh, were you, did you like music when you were young? Yes, yes, I went to big dances and things. W what was your favorite music when you were young? Well, I guess, uh, well, Cab Calloway was my number one band guy. I like. They did the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy. Henry. Yeah. What was your favorite song? Oh, I'll be on the 
Christmas. You can complain only with plenty of snow, mistletoe, present, wrap around new tree. Ow! Christmas Eve will carry me where that love light beam. Henry, Ma, yeah. what was the favorite part of your life? What was your favorite part of your life? Broke my life. It was part of my life was riding a bicycle. Grocery board. What did you like about riding a bicycle? That's where I made my money. So in some sense, Henry has reacquired his, his identity for a while through the power of music. What does music do to you? Give me the feeling of love, romance. Figure right now the world need to come into music, singing. You got beautiful music in, beautiful, oh lovely. And uh, I feel the band of love, the dream. The Lord came to me, made me holy. I'm a holy man. So he gave me these sounds. I'll just say, I meet you. Let me see. Rosalie, won't you love me? Rosalie, won't you be sweet guy? Sweet baby. What do you think happened with Henry? I mean, what did we just see happening with Henry? We connected with Henry. We connected with Henry's self. You know, when you're in a nursing home or when you have Alzheimer's disease, you're really struggling with your own th um, thoughts and confusion. And Dan was excited. I was excited. What if all these people we'd seen 